Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 9. Alright, so the previous episode we had a little bit of a quarrel. Not a quarrel, but uh, it was not quarrel. Sorry about that. It was like a little bit of a mis not misunderstanding as per se. Like, um, Yo was basically trying to um, keep Manta safe from everything that's happening and you know so like he acted a little bit of like in a way that he did not mean to and he said that like you know like uh, you like uh, like you know you he said something like some what can i say like hurting stuff to manta and manta <laughs> also kind of like you know i got mad at that but by the end of it like you know like manta decided to go back and we also got to see a little bit of manta's internal home situation like that was uh you know i was not expecting that like something like that like you know like manta actually facing something like that in his personal life the whole like you know the dad doesn't like you know uh what do you call it uh, the dad doesn't want him to make friends and like with the like you know the the parents telling him to focus on studying and you know like as parents some parents are so that was basically it and he like stood for himself and said that nope i'll go like the only friend that i have i don't want to lose him so yeah i'm going to go back and apologize did that and also we got to saw a new not new but an upgrade upgrade to the furio queue uh, and uh like it, it looked really cool you know like it, it the the armor portion kind of increased i don't know like i feel like it will be even more like you know i, I think it's something like that might happen like in the future when he gets more upgrades maybe he'll come like you know get a full body armor or something and uh, like you know amida maru's body armor and like f like flame sudi kind of uh throughout his body like something like that who knows like that'll be really cool you know and uh yeah so and also like oh we also met a new character a lot of things happened um tamao yeah her name was tamao wasn't it yeah tamao and her um spirits the uh, the the kitsune and the um, tanuki so yeah a lot of things happened and by the end of it they kind of made up and yeah everything is good now so oh and also we saw ren by the end of it you know and we also got to see like you know li like listen to how ren's actual family is like what like what his actual ambition is what he wants to do is like you know his family wants like is going in the revenge path he does not want that all that stuff so yeah a lot of things happened um, like you know it was quite information heavy in a lot of ways uh, in the previous episode so yeah so anyway so without further ado um let's get started with this episode this is episode number <clears throat> nine of shaman king so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go Sending you to run. Oh, this is in China. Oh, damn, his dad is big. Oh, yeah, the whole revenge. oh my god what the oh great i was thinking like what a chill dad petting the panda and that was like too much oh wow they have like a factory of great <laughs> Whoa, that was a start? What the hell? Like, <laughs> no, I, when I was seeing, like, he was kind of, like, you know, so big and, like, petting the pan panda. I was thinking, oh, my God, like, <laughs> like you know, what a chill guy is, like, sitting and petting a panda. And then, bam, like, oh, my God. Wow. 
Okay, yeah. Like, <laughs> I can understand what Ren is actually facing in his, like, you know, uh, with his family. Yeah, it's a bit um, too serious. So, yeah. I'm guessing we're going to see uh, Ren's fight after this. Ren versus Yo. <laughs> okay, Yo versus Ren. There you go. Oh damn. Calling. Okay. Hmm? What's happening? Oh, this is uh what was her name? I forgot. Oh Oh yeah, that is <laughs> Okay. Yeah. He's one of the officials, you know. Hmm. Oh god, this will be awkward, like you know. Oh yeah, this is a battlefield, okay. <laughs> well, that's yo, you know, like pointy. <laughs> mm, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's go. Wow, damn, <laughs> the entrance. Huh. Whoa, his cape is so cool. <laughs> Okay. Um, he got an upgrade. You don't know that. <laughs> this entrance is so you. True. Yeah, no matter what, definitely, yeah, like, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Okay, calm down. Yeah. <laughs> I got excited. All right. <laughs> okay. You're going to make a big mistake if you like you know 
take that decision oh god he is <laughs> what the yo it's like <laughs> i said <did> three minutes <laughs> oh my god that's great okay let's go Okay, <laughs> let's go. All right. B Basson Blade. Golden Oversoul. Okay, that's a... Uh... Oh, whoa. There you go. A bit. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Doesn't work against the king. Oh, he's like poking. Yeah, he has an armor. Yeah. Yeah, he can also talk now. Amida. Whoa! Ha! <laughs> Long range attack. I don't think so. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> More pointier. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. He said that I'm not going to use my full power. Whoa, look at that. Whoa! Whoa, that's like a... Okay, come on! What? Oh my god! Um... Okay, yo, come on, bring out a secret technique or something. Okay. Um. Oh, he used it as a cushion. Oh my god, he's not looking good. Like, okay. I... <laughs> I'm not good at high places. Oh yeah. What? Two forty. Okay. Oh wow. Yeah, he's at an advantage. Okay. No, like I, I don't doubt Anna will like you know. Anna believes in you. Yeah, like. Okay. Yeah. Don't get distracted. Oh, what? Okay. Yeah, but... What? <laughs> um, okay. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, I think he's, it's true, he doesn't know. Reason I lost four. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, that was like I I'm guessing that really learned like he learned a lot from that. He's like the calm, like you know, um, <laughs> very different from other like you know shonen characters who are all like you know power, conviction, determination, like you know, and he's like the. Okay, I'm going to talk about this later on. Oh, oh, I got it. Okay, that's good. Like, like bigger doesn't mean more power, you know. Like if you are like sharp like a blade. Yeah, he's raw power, but Yo is like sharp as a like you know. Dive on. Wow. This is a good thing, like Amida Maru can help him in there you go. He's giving him tips. Because Amida Maru is a lot better, like you know, samurai, like All right. Oh yeah. Oh my wa mo shindeiru. <laughs> okay, come on, let's go. Ah, he Halo Blade. Whoa. He's I think Yo is like concentrating his power in only one, like you know. I didn't evade it. Whoa! Wait, what? The spirit of the wilderness. Oh. Okay, there you go. What I was saying, he is calm. Yeah, yeah, okay. So that's why, like, his strength got. Yeah, so this is basically your inner workings, you know? Yeah, the unwavering heart. Oh, is this the... Yeah, it's this... <laughs> oh no. Oh damn, he... Oh yeah, there you go, oh my god. Yeah, this is his full power now. Oversold version 2. Oh man, damn. Okay. Oh. It's, yeah, he's integrating it with white things. Oh my god. So yeah, this is like a, a double like fusion, like you know? 
Yeah. Whoa. Okay, this is bad. Okay, um, this is a bit concerning. I, I don't think that's, yeah, yeah, that, it's not that it's not fair. Yeah. That's his talent. Hmm. <laughs> Oh damn. Okay. Oh wow. <laughs> Great. <laughs> 90. Oh no. Oh god. Yeah. Okay. Um Multiple Yeah. Okay. Wait. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so what do you do? What? But attack going the offensive? Yeah. The sand is just like ours. Whoa. Okay, some kind of backstory. Oh, okay. Yeah, contrasts. From nothing. Okay, what well, what will he do now? I don't overreach. Whoa. Wait. Oh. Wow, Amidamaru. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, what happened? Yeah, I'm guessing your one. Yeah, there you go.
on the day I first met him. Yeah, he must have felt like it. Like as his sister said, I forgot her name. Yeah. Hmm. Brute force cannot crush wind or what? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> okay, have, have, have a, you know, <laughs> fist fight or something. <laughs> or, or rock, paper, scissor. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. Same time. Oh, is this a die? Okay, there you go. <laughs> oh, yeah, like one loss, one yeah, one draw. Well, I think you always in a disadvantage because he lost one, didn't he? Goldva? That's her name, okay. Okay, thank god. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, his name is Silva and Greater Speed's name is Goldva? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so all right, so that was uh, episode number nine. Wow. Okay, one thing. Um, now one thing. I, I like. We can already like guess that is like Ren's background. That is his family. So the thing that we were seeing in the flashback is how like you know there was this kind of mass like you know uh, a lot of the spirits who were being somehow kept in a place. You know, uh, I'm guessing that's uh, like you know spirits like Pyron so who have been killed just for the purpose of like you know being a spirit and like you know fusing with shamans and uh, <clears throat> like that's why probably rain was saying like you know like uh, like all this killing and like you know what we were seeing in the flashback like you know there's this blood flowing and all and he was saying that all this killing and everything i am i'm like you know i'm tired of it and everything so i think it was something like that like you know he in his childhood saw a lot of these kind of things like you know his dad probably killing people just for the sole purpose of them to serve as the spirit who will aid them in uh, like you know in a shaman fight and <clears throat> like he like solely because of the whole revenge thing that his dad uh, you know was planning and he does like that that's his main reason of becoming a shaman and like his dad thinks almost probably thinks that oh like my like you know uh ren is going to become a shaman king because he will like after that he'll help us in our like you know this whole revenge thing whereas uh ren's plans are a little bit different his plans are like i'll become the shaman king and stop my family so that's probably it and you know and I am still not so sure about the dad. Like, you know, he's probably a guy who has been blinded by hate and revenge so much that he is unable to see, like, you know, anything uh, in front of him, clearly. Uh, he has lost his way, most probably. But one thing that I really <laughs> cannot forgive him for is killing the panda. Like, what the hell? Like, oh god. Like, what was that about? <laughs> like, like, like animals, animals usually do this, you know, like, suddenly see, like, a, 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 you know, um, a character, a villainous character, who is probably, like, you know, petting something, and, and suddenly he grows crazy and crushes it. Like, oh my god. 
like that, that was really unnecessary like what, what was that like killing a panda like that like oh my god but anyways okay i'm I, i'm focusing on the panda a bit too much but yeah okay and then uh yeah and the main battle the main battle that we saw uh, yo versus um ren okay so here's the thing as like as they were saying like the contrast between them there's, there's a lot of contrast between ren and yo the first contrast is as ren himself like admitted later on is that like my like you know my thing is destroy 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 whereas yo is calm like the wind calm like the water and sharp like the wind sharp like the water so he like you know that was the, that is the first contrast between them another contrast is like this is the main thing here i i think uh we still don't know much about yo but from the this episode i could probably guess that there is something very sad that must have happened in his life now here's what actually happens if something tragic happens in someone's life two ways it can go you can either turn out to be someone like ren or you can either turn out to be someone like yo both are the possibilities like yo like ren is like the extremity of the what can i say uh like the violence portion like yeah like a source like so many bad things happened in his past that he became a person like this he is now like yeah i will stop everything through brute force you know i will like crush everything whichever stands in my way i won't stop that is ren the origin is the same as yo and yo like you know yo is someone like like so much bad things happened in his life i'm guessing like i still don't know what happened in his past from this episode the way they were talking about it i'm guessing something happened must have happened and from that assumption like i think like he became like this because of that like like so much bad things happened that he has become uh like you know so calm and so you know um like like a sharp like a blade so like this is the contrast like i'm sure both of them originated from the same amount like you know amount of sadness in the past but both of their ways are so different yo became a person who has become more empathetic more like you know calm cool and uh like you know sharp like the wind uh, uh sharp like the water and wind calm like the water and the wind he's become a person like that whereas at the same time ren became this kind of like you know destruction uh you know person who uh <clears throat> like, you know uh, can only destroy as he himself said that i am a person who can only destroy and he has like he's taken this way of getting his own goal of like stopping everything so like it's basically like the more what can i say like mm, mm. passive and active like active is ren is like the more active person like he is like basically like like you know going like becoming physical destroying everything to like you know get to that goal and yo has become more like you know like a passive not passive but like a calm type of a person who is like you know more empathetic more like you know he is calm cool and all of that so that's basically it and that's why i think like <clears throat> as like uh, her sister said that uh ren he he also was a very like you know kind and a calm like boy but everything in his past changed him like this and he has become this person who has to like you know now carry the whole weight of everything and that's like stressing him out and that's why he also got more concerned and more like you know shook when he saw asakura yo like i'm sure he also felt something similar like you know after looking at yo he also felt something similar in him that was also in him so that's why he was so rattled after seeing how much of a different they are like you know if yo was someone like ren you know someone like him like you know always like going around destroying stuff they like you know ren could have probably become one of his 
<laughs> like you know best friends like from the beginning I i'm sure they'll become friends after this but i'm talking about from the beginning you know ren would have probably thought that oh like this is my comrade you know he's just like me but because he was not like that he himself got rattled he got shook and he started thinking that whatever i'm i'm doing am i doing it right and that's why like you know he's so he was so hostile towards yo always whenever yo was like you know laughing and like he was saying that oh that idiotic laugh and everything like like this is like you know this is what ha and he was saying that oh you don't know what happened in my life you know you have no idea whereas i'm sure he himself had that like you know feeling in his heart that yo yo knows where he's coming from yo must have experienced something very similar to this still he's so different like these everything all of this like you know came together and really like you know shook him and made him realize that yeah like how can a person be so different even if we like must have experienced something so similar so yeah that's most probably it i don't know i might be wrong i'm, I'm guessing like uh, like this episode really like you know gave us a lot of hints into like uh yo's past something bad must have happened in it like i myself can feel it like yo's calmness and coolness is so different you know it's so very different from uh like it's quite like you know unusual it's like an anomaly that's why most probably something must have happened in his life which made him like this today like he he's like a, he, like how much old is he i'm not sure but he's quite young so like like you know like being someone like this so calm and so cool at this age it really hints at something that must have happened in his past you know and yeah another thing that i was thinking is like you know another really like not unusual but it's really unique as far as to say like um shown like obviously this is a shonen anime i cannot remember a shonen main protagonist who has been as cool as yo I don't think there is anyone is there like naruto nope bleach nope one piece i don't think so no uh, one piece luffy had a kind of like a you know uh, a very um like it, it was not like he was in the middle like you know he's neither too like hyper nor too cool he was something someone like that what else my hero academia um, he's like he was also in the middle so yeah i don't think there has been any anime any shonen anime which like you know has a main character who is so cool like you know yo is like like <laughs> if there's like a rating like you know five star rating yo would be like full five star of the of coolness you know he is so cool he's so calm like even the way he talks is so like you know slow calm cool like you know <laughs> so good and like and props to the voice actor as well like you know he like he has been able to like you know completely get into yo's character like you know the way he talks and everything is is so calm like i've never seen a character talk so calmly and coolly like this it really shows how he himself is you know the way he talks like that's great and uh yeah what else let's see um was there anything else that i missed oh and in the end like how he won the match you know like as like ren is like as he like showed like he's pure strength and pure like you know f like what can i say like brute force or something yo is like the calm like you know calm and cool water sharp like it and that's why like you know he was able to like go past that brute strength and um <clears throat> Another thing that as they explained is the reason why Yo won is because uh, his heart, uh, Ren's heart wavered. Now, this is another unique thing here. Like in, in a lot of animes, we kind of like, you know, uh, like in a lot of like, you know, shonen animes, especially we kind of see like, you know, like the main character is losing and suddenly like, you know, he gets this kind of self-determination and powers up just from the power of like you know inner feelings and strength and he wins the match or something like this happens like a lot of like you know uh, shonen animes here in shaman king 
that is literally one of the reasons of someone winning and losing and that is a fact here like it's not some kind of like you know uh like he, he needs to have determination and uh like you know a very unwavering heart because that is directly connected to the power level of the spirit that it's assimilating with him or her now this is like literally a reason for it like it's not like you know like i've seen a lot of animes where people kind of get mad at this you know like say that oh like like he was losing how the hell can he get back like just because of power of thought and power of friendship and power of like you know determination how does that happen this is like all like you know like what is this even this is trash a lot of people like you know say something like this <laughs> those people will probably be unable to say anything in this show because this is literally one of the reasons why, like, you know, the characters here power, get powered up. <laughs> oh my god, that's really funny to think about, you know. <laughs> like, this is literally one of the main reasons why the people here are strong. They're, like, you know, the unwavering heart is the main thing here. Because it's not the strength, like, you know, it's not their strength they're using. It's like they're assimilating with the spirit. And the spirit power is getting, like, you know, transferred into you. And you're, like, you know, getting powered up and everything. So yeah, like the more your way, heart is unwavering, just, just like we saw in the end, like you know, Amidamaru like completely materialized and like defeated Ren. So like you know, Yo's heart was so calm and so unwavered, so determined that Amidamaru was able to pull that off. So yeah, like that's something. And uh, and also like as I was saying, like Yo is like one of the very first I think shonen main characters. He is so. Like, you know different in personality like not that type of like you know um like he's calm cool and i don't think i like at least i cannot remember or i don't know uh like you know any kind any main character any shonen main character i'm talking about shonen animes main character who is so calm and cool like yo i don't think i i like you know i've seen anyone like that so yeah that's like another like thing and, uh, <laughs> and in the end like you know yo says that oh what will i do like i also am out of ryoku <laughs> like what will like anna will kill me now <laughs> like that's what he was <laughs> concerned about <laughs> and then like you know like uh, the uh, the greatest spirit comes uh, her name is golfa so and like like when they were saying like you know like yo has won one match made a draw in one match and lost one match and ren has won one match and made a draw in one match i was a bit concerned at that moment because i was thinking like were they going to like disqualify him or something because he lost one match and technically like you know um uh what's uh, ren ren has like a bigger advantage over that like you know probably ren would like go forward and yo would lose be disqualified or something but thankfully that did not happen as like you know as uh, golva said that like seeing your like you know fighting prowess seeing your determination seeing your techniques and everything uh, we've decided both of you are have passed so that's good you know and uh, yeah so yeah that was it so this was uh, episode number nine of shaman king so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and also subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to like let me know i'll definitely check them out so yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of shaman king same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day